Hi, it's Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions, and today we have a GrowWatt Sun Gold Solar Inverter. And if you have a look on the screen of this one, it's coming up with PV isolation low, and you can see the red fault light is on. If, if this system was working properly, that gr there should be a green light there, which should be on constant. But right now, there's the red fault light on, so there's an issue. And as you can see by the screen there, it says PV isolation low. Now, uh, the PV isolation low message means there's a problem that the de inverter's detected with the uh, insulation, or oh, it's detected an insulation fault on the uh, system, which could be an issue on the solar power side, solar panel side, or it could be a problem on the inverter side. So uh, with, with any problem with a solar inverter, we usually recommend trying to uh, shut the system down, trying to reboot it and see if that uh, sorts out the issue. So by doing that, when doing that, it's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure, which is always something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch, which is located in your switchboard, or the inverter AC isolator. And we, here we got the inverter AC isolator right here beside the inverter. And then turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter, which we've got over here. So we'll just throw that off. And wait for the inverter to go completely blank there. And the red light to go away. Which won't take too long. There we go, it's gone completely blank there. So we'll just try and uh, restart the system now. Uh, it's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure correctly. The, there's no real correct way to uh, start up the inverter, it just needs everything to turn back on. So we've got the DC to turn back on and the AC to turn back on. So we'll just throw, throw them back on. And then the inverter will go through a startup procedure, which usually takes a, a couple of minutes. You can see it coming up on the screen there. But this one's pretty much immediately come up with PV isolation low again. So if, you, if your inverters, your grow inverter is coming up with something like this and you've just tried to do the, uh, a reboot like this, you're still getting issues. You are going to need to get a solar accredited electrician to come and have a look at your system and work out what's actually going on. In our uh, experience, it usually has ended up being a problem with the inverter, but without someone uh, with some experience coming and testing the whole system, we can't be sure of that. Now, if it does end up being a uh, problem with the inverter and it's still under the warranty period, which uh, was standard was five years, then you do have certainly do have a valid warranty claim, and uh, some things that would be needed for a warranty claim would be the uh, model number and serial number of the inverter, which we can find over here on the left hand side of the inverter. So we got this is a GrowWatt inverter. It's a Sun Gold fifteen hundred as a model, and we've got the serial number down here. So they're the uh, most important things that uh, the warranty people would need to know. So look, uh, if you don't have any information about when the system was originally installed or it is outside that five year warranty period and uh, you have had it, the whole system checked out and it is definitely an issue with the inverter, the best thing to do will be get the inverter replaced uh, with a good quality replacement unit. And if you're in South East Queensland or in the Gold Coast, Brisbane type area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. If you're somewhere else in Australia and you are after a good quality replacement inverter, we can certainly ship you one as well. So feel free to get in contact with us. So look, I hope this video has been helpful. helpful. It makes a bit more sense of the PV isolation low issue. And if you're wondering why I'm hitting the inverter, it's because it actually says knock here. If you, if you knock on the inverter, it actually uh, lights up the screen. And if you keep continuing to knock on the inverter, it'll actually scroll through different uh, different readouts on the screen as well. Like you see there, it says firmware version and goes through a whole heap of uh, different things. So look, I hope that's been helpful for you. Uh, if we can be of any further assistance, don't hesitate to get in contact with us. Thanks very much.